Hey guys, this week we create a Winnie the Pooh themed present cake. I've got my 6 inch cake already covered in pale green. As always, tutorials on ganashing and covering your cakes are linked in the description box. For the lid, I'm using a cake drum the same size as my cake, but you could always use foam core. Cover one side in the matching pale green paste and trim off the sides. Flip it sugar paste down onto a foam pad to protect it. Apply piping gel round the edge of the board. I've got a long strip from the green paste and added Tylo powder to it to make it stiffer and dry quicker. Roll this around the board making sure it's slightly taller than it. Now gently flip it over and if you have any gaps just tease the paste to meet the edge. Place it back on the foam pad to dry. During this tutorial I had a little trouble with certain parts of footage going missing, such as when I covered the board in pale orange. Luckily I have a full tutorial on this method and if you wait to the end of this video you'll find it linked there. Next I've got a piece of greaseproof paper cut to the height of the cake with a polka dot pattern traced on it. This is just to make sure it fits and it's all evenly spaced. Hold this against the cake and mark each dot with the press of a Dresden tool. Line up the paper with your previous pattern and continue until you've gone all the way around. If it doesn't match when you get to the back, it's not a problem. Just place two random dots to fill the spaces. Now just follow the pattern with shapes of your choice. I'm using tiny pale orange squares cut with this plunger cutter. They also do mini circles, stars and even snowflakes. Simply stick them into place with water. To stop your lid from sliding off, we are securing it with a lump of sugar paste. Attach it with water to the back of your cake. Then to hold the lid open, we are using two kebab sticks. Put these towards the front and trim them down. You can test the height of the lid by resting it on the sticks and just keep cutting them down until it suits the look you want. Now dampen the ball of paste at the back and add two smaller balls to the top of the sticks. As they dry it will stick the lid in place rather than have it slide off. Gently lower the lid in place making sure it's slightly offset towards the back and push it onto the supports. Cut random squares of white paste and push them randomly inside to hide the sticks. You can also fill the gaps towards the back so it looks like ruffled paper. To make Winnie's head, it starts as a flattened yellow ball and roll your thumb or your finger across the centre also pressing the sides so it creates cheeks. You want to pull the head in smaller and have the cheeks wider. Push up with your finger to create a small muzzle. With the Dresden tool, marking the ends of the smile, joining it with a curve. It can look a little wide, so simply push it from the bottom to close it up a bit. Add a nose in black, which is a soft triangle shape. As you can see, this is where I only have partial footage, but hopefully it's simple enough to follow. The pupils are just two black dots, and the eyebrows are two thin black strings. I then added catch lights using two very small balls of white paste. Insert a cocktail stick at the front at an angle to support the head. Gently slide it down the stick and if you can, tuck it under the lid to hold it steady. His arms are simple yellow sausages wrapped around either side of the head and secured with water. Ears start as flattened teardrop shapes with the bottom point cut off. Again, please don't do this on your hand, I'm just lazy. Stick these on his head to finish him off. 
Tigger is a small pale orange oval and a pale yellow oval pressed together in the centres. To be honest, this one is hard to explain and I do end up fixing it, so I'll just let you watch me faff around a bit and hopefully you can see where I'm going with it. The yellow is his bottom jaw, which you will want to squeeze in a bit thinner. Near the bottom, we are creating a hole for his tongue to go in. This is a ball of pale pink squashed down to fill it. His muzzle is a pale yellow lemon shape, squashed across the top and blended into the head. Make a hole where the nose will sit. Here you can see me trimming down the jaw to make it thinner. Tigger's nose is also a soft triangle, but much bigger. Now I decided the yellow came up too far, so I'm adding a sausage of pale orange to cover it up by blending it into the head. What an amateur. The eye area is another small lemon shape squashed onto the orange head. Flatten it down and then add two small black balls for pupils and thicker sausages for eyebrows, lining the yellow shape. Don't forget the small white balls for catch lights. Add another cocktail stick to the side, but place a blob of orange paste to support the right side of the head. Gently lower it down the stick again, pushing it under the lid if you can, and merging that ball of paste to the head. Again, don't do this on your hand, but cut a slit in the end of a sausage for a thumb and make a mitten style hand. Wrap this around the bottom of the head and stick it with water. Tigger's ears are also flattened teardrops, but a little bigger, and a yellow one pushed in at the bottom of it. Mark in lines, trim off the bottom and add ears to the sides of the head. Piglet is similar to Winnie but has a longer face. The smile is done the same way as is his soft triangle nose but this time it's placed with the point at the top. Add on his eyes, catch lights and he's ready to go. Piglet's arms are a little thinner and pointier. Add one to the left before securing his head with another cocktail stick. Piglet's ears are the biggest and there are flattened teardrops placed on either side of his head which you can use the lid to support. Now fill in any gaps between them with more folded white squares of paste. Before placing the centre pieces in, mark out a line with water where the ribbon will go. Cut out a strip of yellow paste and run it up the side and onto the lid, sticking it with water. Where it gets to the centre of the lid, taper it in thinner. Same for the other side. For the bow, cut out a long strip of yellow. This wasn't measured, and pleat the centre. Fold the ends so it creates a wavy M shape and squeeze them together. Now fold them both into the centre and squash together. Stand the bow up and open out the loops to sturdy it. For a quick knot in the centre, roll three sausages, stick them together and wrap them over the join. Place this in the middle of the lid and define any bits of the bow you may have squashed. Add water underneath the bow loops to keep them in place. Now you can fill in any gaps with those squares of paste. 
I've cut the name out using tappets. I have a foolproof tutorial on how to use these linked below. I also cut the age out and stuck it between the pattern on the front. To make little streamers, cut a thin strip of pale green with Tylo powder added and gently wrap it round a cake pop stick or a straw. Once it's big enough, trim off the excess and lay it on your foam pad. Very gently hold the paste in place while you pull the stick out, which will leave behind a cute spiral. Make a few of these and leave them to set a little. Once you can handle them, dampen the underside and stick them to the board by pressing inside with a paintbrush handle. Also add detail to the board with crumpled pieces of the present wrapping. Finally, give Tigger his stripes with some black paint and a fine paintbrush. You can also add in Piglet's eyebrows. And we're done. A cute, pastel, Winnie the Pooh inspired present cake for a birthday or even a christening. I have done this design before, but in blue with different characters. Please let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see what's coming along next week. Bye guys.